Gabby Hanna just made a post over on Instagram talking about how the Gabby show is now officially over. And in this video, we're gonna talk about what lessons we can learn from this about developing new chapters in our own lives. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community or pop culture and see what lessons we can take away from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So real quick, real quick shout out. First off, I love me some fan art. I love me some fan art. So if you're not following me over on Instagram, make sure you do over at The Rewired Soul. But Somebody by the name of Kadri Milk, I hope I'm saying that right, they made this amazing fan art that you can see right here, and I just um, asked them if it was cool if I use it for my banner because it kind of fit the color scheme. So the new banner on my YouTube channel as well as over on Twitter, they have now changed because I'm using their amazing fan art. So if you ever make some fan art, just tag me on Instagram, I will share it. I love it, love it, love it, love it so much. All right, but anyways, let's jump into this uh, story about Gabby Hanna because this is so important for so many of us, and it's something that I try to teach people all the time. It's something that I had to learn myself, and it's about growing, changing, developing these new chapters in your life. So yeah, over on Instagram and uh, Twitter, she kind of mentioned it, but over on Instagram, she made a full post, and everybody knows Gabby Hanna's channel as The Gabby Show, but she just changed all of her social medias to Gabby Hanna her actual name. So here's the post that she made over on Instagram. Show's over kids. I changed my name on socials from the Gabby show to Gabby Hanna. I know a few people will ask why, so I figured I'd just make a quick little post explaining. The Gabby show was a pseudonym that in my mind represents someone I no longer relate with. I was literally putting on a show. I've outgrown that insecurity, that aggression, and a lot of other things I associate with that name. As I grow older, I become more and more my authentic self. And for some reason, I feel like the name was holding me back mentally, emotionally, and professionally. I'm ready to just be me now. Gabby Hanna is who I am as a person and an artist. Thank you for reading my autobiography. Now go follow me on Twitter. Seriously, I love you babes. Thanks uh, for all the continued support and I'm so excited for our future. You go girl, you go Gabby Hanna. So yeah, this is really, really important. And I think like so many of us, can take lessons away from this. And this is like what I'm trying to do with my channel. Like so many of us are consuming content, whether it's on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter, TV shows, movies, whatever we're doing, but what can we take away from this? What can we learn to improve our own lives? So without knowing Gabby Hanna personally, like it looks like she's grown and she's changed because when she started the Gabby show and she started out on Vine as well, she was putting on a show. and. This is something that I can definitely relate with, some of you might be able to relate with as well, where we kind of put on this mask or this facade, and this is very common with YouTubers, with actors and actresses, where we try to adapt and be the person we want people to see. Another great example of that is Shane Dawson, with some of the controversies that have popped up about him. Like, he's talked about how he's grown and changed as a person, because for a very long time, he was making very, like, edgy jokes and everything, because he thought that's what people wanted to see. He thought that's what people would like. And I can relate to that, you know, through both Gabby and Hannah, from, uh, Gabby Hannah and Shane Dawson from like being in high school, right? Like I was the type of person where I would bounce around from group to group. Like, you know, um, I played sports so I could hang out with the jocks so I could hang out with like the computer nerd kids because I used to build computers. I could hang out with like the gaming kids because I played video games. I could hang out with like the golf kids or whoever it was, right? And I was always changing and I lost who I was as a person so it's super cool to see Gabby talking about how she finally feels comfortable in her own skin and she's able to just be Gabby Hanna so those of you who follow my channel you know that I'm like a huge fan of philosophy and I love Buddhist philosophy so Buddhist philosophy not the religion right like there's Buddhist philosophy then there's Buddhist religion but they talk about rebirth they talk about reincarnation and when you look at it from just like a philosophical point of view, what they're talking about is how we're growing and changing. Like, we are a different person just from moment to moment. Like, if you want, like, 
a better example of that. Like, think about how old you are now. My guess, I'm just gonna go out on a limb here. I'm guessing you're older than five years old if you're watching my video right now, all right? So think about who you were as a person at five years old to where you are now. You are a completely different person. Maybe if you're like around my age, I'm 33 years old, you're a different person than when you were a teenager, than when you were 20. We're constantly changing, but we're changing on a moment to moment basis as well. Like. Every new experience that we have, it changes who we are as a person. We learn from it and we grow from it. So this is something that's constantly changing. And the reason why I think this is so important because so many people are afraid to change, but change is inevitable. You're changing no matter what you do, all right? Now, if you wanna break this down on a more scientific level, did you know, did you know that every seven years, all the cells in your body have completely renewed. So like physiologically, you are actually a new person every single seven years. So don't be afraid to grow, don't be afraid to change. Like so many people are afraid of like when you you end a relationship or you know you get uh, you get fired from your job or whatever. Like something that really helps me and my own sanity is realize that these are just new chapters in our lives, right? Like one chapter might be you were dating somebody, the next chapter is you being single, next chapter is you dating somebody else, right? One chapter of your life might have been working at a certain job, the next chapter is being unemployed, the next chapter is getting a new job. Like don't be afraid of this. This is all about growth and change, learning from new experiences. And at the end of the day, the most we, we can hope for is to gain wisdom. All right, and this is constantly happening. So when you look at Gabby Hanna's situation and how she's no longer referring to her social media as the Gabby show, like think about that in your own life. Like what have you learned? How have you changed? How have you grown? And when you're looking towards the future and who you aspire to be, just realize like there's gonna be bumps in the road, there's gonna be little obstacles along the way, but with every experience we have, it's an opportunity for us to grow as people, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you are a patron, don't forget that the monthly Q&A is now up over on the website or app, whichever one you use. And again, thank you so much to Kadri Milk. Hope I'm saying your name right. And don't don't forget to follow them over on Instagram and follow me too at The Rewired Soul. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.